All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me on another quick video, quick video. This is about offline maps. So uh, with this truck, if you have the Sierra, you have the option to download offline maps. And this frequently pops up, uh, and, if you're, and, and it does to me while I'm driving. It never does it when I'm parked for some reason. Uh, but if I'm warming up the car, it doesn't, it doesn't do it on startup or anything like that. It does this while I'm driving, and it's super annoying. So I wanted to go ahead and show you how to download offline maps in this video. It is very simple, uh, and it is just way too intuitive for you to mess this up. So this is just a, a area of the map here, and you have a settings icon right here. So when you click on that settings icon, you're going to get the list of uh, maps that you've already downloaded, and it's gonna give you the option to download whatever you wanna download. So in doing so, when I downloaded my home area, it tells me that it expires in one year from the date that I originally downloaded. So, I mean, I don't know why, I, I guess it is, it's gonna expire, it's gonna want you to update it basically. So in order to update it, you're going to just click update and then it'll update to the current maps. But Google Maps won't need to update that much if you're just doing a real broad spectrum of, of the map. Um, you shouldn't need to update it too much. Uh, but downloading Google Maps is super easy uh, and uh, it's just a matter of click and point and boom, you're done. Uh, you. Pinch and zoom to the area that you want to download. So let's see here, let's go to settings. And then you go to offline maps. As you can see here, um, it's telling me that I've downloaded my home and it my home area and it expires a year from today. Here's another set of maps that I'm downloading from uh, just a bigger part of, of Texas, just like more area of Texas. This is what I'm doing. Now, in this portion here, if I want to download something, you pinch and zoom throughout the maps like this, and it zooms out as far and it goes in as far, and you actually move around the maps. And as you can see here, up didn't tell you how much that's going to use uh, or how much you need to download that portion. Now, I frequently travel to Louisiana or across Louisiana, and I frequently am over here in this part of the world, which is called Florida. I am always in Florida. Uh, and this area here is an area that I am, I mean, I stay in this area so much, it's ridiculous. So if I wanted to download this portion of the map, it's going to tell me on the right, on the left here, to, in order to download this, you need this much space. And I'm downloading another set of maps at the moment, so maybe that's why it's taking a little bit of time to update. But I'm also across far from where I live at. So eventually it will pop up right here and say, hey, you know, you need 400 megabytes to, to store this on your, your truck or whatever the case may be. So if I zoom in, let's see if it gives me a better part of uh, floor, let's see if it gives me a little, let's go here, let's go to, uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna pick up a small area here. Let's see if I can get it to load up. Okay, so it's this, area, this entire area right here, I mean, all of this only uses 95 megabytes. So, you're gonna to need to download areas that you know you're gonna frequently use. Uh, you don't need to, but you can. This is for the people who don't wanna pay for the, the maps after it expires, I suggest. Before it expires, go ahead and go in there and you know start downloading portions of the map that you know you frequent. You know what I mean? So this entire area right here is only 230 megabytes. That is absolutely great, folks. I don't think you can go wrong with that. So again, downloading your maps is super easy. Now at that year mark, when it expires, I'm assuming that it's just gonna say that it's out of date. Or if GM is really shady, they'll erase it from the device or make it non-usable. But if, again, for those people that don't want to pay for the maps, you technically don't have to. If you have a smartphone, which a lot of us do at this point, you're fine, use your smartphone maps. Because when you link a Google phone to this to, to this truck, it kind of takes over and Android Auto isn't the same as other devices that use Android Auto, other cars. It's totally different in this truck since this truck has Google integrated. But when you hook an iPhone up, obviously you can get you know the iPhone interface. So downloading offline maps is super easy, folks. It is no tricks to it. I really hate that Google, that, uh, that um, the, the the relationship with Google and GM it came to the point where they're trying to make you pay for the services just to use your truck and certain things. 
that's kind of shady, but it is what it is. But there's also an alternative, you know, just use your smartphone and link it to your truck like you've been doing before. And if you have an Android phone, it's actually better because it really integrates your device into the actual truck itself. It's like it becomes a part of the truck. And Android Auto is different than the standard Android Auto on this truck. It just keeps it all the same. You get all your options and it makes it look as though you're not even paying for data, even though it's coming from your device. So downloading offline maps is super easy, folks. Um, I hope this helps a little bit. If not, ask some questions down below, and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Take care.